I'm going to have to ask if you have your phone on you right now, because I know you do. Yeah, it's around here somewhere, <laughs> and you too. I, yes. I know, of yes. course, guilty. A new study on iPhone users finds people have more brain power when they've got their phone within reach. Well, maybe the brain power is in the phone, but that could be. TV's 1055's Hazel Sanchez tells us about the study. Yeah, I can live without it. Uncomfortable, but I can live. It won't kill me if I don't have it. But most who own an iPhone say life without it leaves them... A little helpless, to be honest with you. Now a new study published in Journal of Computer Mediated Communication says people are wise not to part with their phone because it will dumb them down. Missing the ability to phone has it at dictionaries and things like that, I guess you are dumber. Well, not exactly. Researchers from the University of Missouri found that iPhone users solving a series of puzzles performed better when they had their phones with them. When deprived of their phones, participants experienced elevated heart rate, blood pressure, and anxiety, along with poor cognitive performance. Researchers call it iPhone separation anxiety. Have you ever left it at home? Uh, yes. And what did that feel like not having it with you? scared. We can literally feel almost as if we're disembodied mm -hmm. from an extension of ourselves. Psychiatrist Dr. Harris Straitner says there's a very simple explanation. We don't feel the same ability to be individuals that we are with our iPhone because we've become so dependent on that being part of our knowledge base. So researchers say iPhone owners should actually avoid being separated from their phones if they're taking tests or taking part in any activity that requires a great deal of attention. I would love to live without it. Go back to the old, the old ways that were so much nicer. <laughs> I hate to admit it. Dr. Straitner says this study speaks to society's dependence on any smartphone, not just iPhones. And he suggests that users, especially young people, practice regular timeouts from their phones to prevent separation anxiety. On the Upper West Side, Hazel Sanchez, TV 10, 55. Timeouts. Need to, <laughs> Time need to implement those. Yeah. And the study is one of the first ever to look at cell phones and anxiety.